And in other news, following Japan's release of a review of its landmark apology on wartime sexual enslavement, the Korean government is set to summon the Japanese ambassador this afternoon. Seoul is expected to lodge a formal complaint over Tokyo's latest move, but furthermore, it plans to take up the issue on the international stage. Heading News' Hwang Jie tells us more. With the relationship between Korea and Japan growing increasingly frosty over historical issues, Seoul will summon the Japanese ambassador on Monday. It comes in response to Tokyo's announcement last week of its re-examination into the Kuno statement. The Abe administration, while upholding the statement, controversially claimed that the Korean government was in close consultation with Japan when the statement was being drawn up. The Kono statement was issued back in 1993 by then Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono. It acknowledged for the first time the forced sexual enslavement of some 200,000 women by the Japanese military during the Second World War. In addition to calling in Japanese Ambassador Kuro Pesho to complain about the move out of Tokyo, the Korean government plans to register historical records regarding the so called comfort women with UNESCO and bring up the Issue during United Nations meetings. Korea's foreign ministry made a tentative conclusion on Sunday that the Japanese review was trying to diminish the testimonies of sexual slavery victims and the apologetic tone of the Kuno statement. Hong Jie, Arirang News.